If you have worked with Microsoft Flow and the Flow Designer, I'm pretty sure you have come to the moments that you are looking for a property from an action or from a trigger and you want to utilize it somewhere else and the designer doesn't show you that property or basically the list of dynamic contents that you go there and you want to look it up, you do not see it. In this video, I want to show you a few examples of those and tell you how to deal with that sometimes misbehaving of the flow designer. To create an example of flow acting silly, I go to flow.microsoft.com and I want to create a new flow from scratch. I click on instant flow because I want to create it from scratch and I select manually trigger a flow. I call it my silly flow and I click on create. The flow that I create is just a button, but I want to add a little bit of complexity to it so we make it more interesting. I just add a text, which I call it name. And another one, I add a number and I want to call it age. So basically, when someone wants to fire the flow, he or she should enter a name and an age, and then the flow should compile an email together, and that email should contain the name of the person and the year that the person is born. So basically, we need to get the age and deduct it from the current year, which is 2020, and then put the email together. Very simple. To do that, I create a new variable. I get initialized variable and I call it year born. And as expected, the type is going to be an integer. The value that I want to put here is going to be 2020 minus age that I read from the manually trigger flow. Even here, you see, as soon as I select the type as integer, only age shows up here, while actually the manually trigger flow has a lot more information as we know and we don't see any one of them here. But age is an integer and we have integer here, so we are happy. But we just don't need the age. We need to have 2020 minus age. So basically we click on expression and we subtract it. So sub 2020 comma, and I click on dynamic content and I get age from here. So 2020, minus age, which is the number, should be the number that I want to have in initialize variable. I click on OK, and we're good to go. If you want to test it, we can test it here, just to make sure that it returns the right value. Test. I'll perform it manually. The name is going to be, for example, Ali, and the age is going to be 45. I click on Run Flow done. And let's see the value that we get here. It's 1975. I'm a little bit older than that, by the way. Anyway, so our initialized variable works. Now we want to send the email. I say create a new step. And in this new step, I want to say send email. And I scroll down, send an email using O365. I send it to myself. So I click on add dynamic content. I have the user email, which is coming from the trigger. I'm good with that. The subject is going to be year born notification. And in the message body, I want to say the person whose name is entered. So basically I scroll down here and I say name was born in, and I have this variable here. So basically I need to get the value of the initialized variable from here. And here is where the problem starts. This control as a part of text expects a string, while actually that number is, a, is an integer. 
So it's trying to be smart and leaves us in trouble. Same way, even if you want to pick up age from the trigger, you have the same problem. You don't see it here, although we know that age is eventually a string. The way to go around it is simply click on the expression just here, push a space, that's it. Click back on dynamic content. Now you see everything here because as expression, all the properties are allowed. I pick the year born here. Now I can come back here and just remove this space that I added in the beginning. Click on OK and you're good to go. Let's test it now. Save. Test. Save and test. Continue. It's going to be John and age is going to be 23. Run flow and done. Now let's go to mailbox. And inside the mailbox, we have John was born in 1997. The other trick that you can use is actually go back to edit. And instead of that space trick, I can remove this and I actually cast it to the proper data type. So I go again to expression and I say string. Open the bracket and the string, I click on this tiny dynamic content and I get the year born and I convert it to string. Again, this one is accepted. I can save it. And if I test it again, this one is going to be David and age is going to be 23. And I click on run flow, done. And again, I go back to the mailbox and this time for David is born in 1997. So both ways work. The only trick is when you don't see the field that you want to bring in in the dynamic content list, just click on expression and make this dynamic content value that you want to look up be part of an expression. As silly as it sounds, that's the way it works. And that was all about it. I know it was a very short video, but I'm sure it helps lots of people to go around the issues that we have with Microsoft Flow Designer trying to be smarter than it's supposed to be. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned till the next video.